Farm Hands. Farmer Ether, welcome back uh, to the Phoenix 700. So on today's episode, we're gonna do a little unboxing and product review. Um, you guys can see here, I got four circulating pumps. These are the new uh, Tunzi uh, Streamline 3s that are gonna be going in uh, my tank. I'm pretty excited to try them. These babies, they just uh, hit the market. So I can't wait to try them out for a while and uh, give you my review on uh, how well they work and perform in my tank. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna uh, learn a little bit about them what's all in the box, we'll unbox it all together, see what all the components are. So let's just start off, let's, uh, so it comes really well packed, and if you know Tunzi, they're all, they're all made in Germany, and they always have that great uh, warranty guarantee with them as well. So this is the pump, guys, it comes really well packaged, you can check it out, it's got a lot of great information on the back. Um, so let's just go through it a little bit here. So let's read through some of the information that comes on the back here. So we're made in Germany. Um, it's got a big suction basket with solid snap fittings and easy to remove and cover protection grid. So on the top of the pump, you can add this extra protection grid if you have any anemones or as soon as you put these in the tank and your fish are not familiar with it, you can put that protection on it so they don't you know, swim in there at night and get, uh, you know, get hurt or anything like that. Um, it's got the hybrid holder suction cups of magnets just like any other Tunzi products that have those very strong two-sided magnets for on your glass. Have the little silicone buffers in between the magnets and the pumps so any vibration you don't hear any sound so it's very silent. Um, it's got the uh, operation time meter with LED interface as well and on the pump on the front it has LEDs so with this if there's ever a problem it's just like anything like a furnace or whatever you can see the, the little LED and you can tell if there's a problem if it's too two red LEDs or a green one. It'll tell you that operation, then you can look it up and see what the, the problem could be. Um, it's got the ceramic bearings with high-performance plastic. Like I said, that shaft, it floats in there on that little bearing, so it's not so much wear and tear on your pump. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what else we got here? Um, so it comes with a highly resistant uh, polyurethane cable, five meters, so that's awesome, having that length on that cord. Especially with the tank, mine's nine feet long. I really have to uh, route that cable up around so I can mount the controller. That's a little information of what's going on on the outside of the box. So let's go ahead, let's uh, open it up and check out and see what's inside. All right, so let's start unboxing the Stream 3. So we get into it here. It's really packaged really nicely. So what do we got in the box? So let's just keep open and digging here. So we had a couple uh, couple cards. So, and so this this one here is the directional head, as you can see. We'll we'll check that one out in a minute. Here's a couple of the Tunzi's magnets here with uh, these insulators. This is right here is what uh, stops any vibration on your glass, so it makes your uh, pump even more silent. And then we got the we got the power supply. So we got the power, one power supply. And then the usual, you get the, the Tunzi warranty cards. And then you get uh, the instruction manuals come in all different kinds of languages. And then we get to the pump itself. It's really well uh, packaged together. Um, it comes with a five meter cord. And this is their new, uh, their new kind of cord. It's uh, more resistant to the water, plus, you know, in fish and stuff like the nip, it's very uh, strong. And then you got uh, the controller as well, a nice mounting bracket for inside your uh, aquarium stand. So let's get this all taken apart. So I got the plastic off of it. You guys can see here's the mounts for uh, the insulators, so you don't have uh, any vibration. And what's great about it is you can uh, you can pull this one off. So I got it out. So you guys can see you can keep it like this if you want. See how it's open. So this uh, propeller here. When it's moving, you stick your finger in it, it will stop. So you won't have any uh, cut your finger or anything like that. So it's got that uh, safety protection in it. So you can, uh, this is the directional head. As you guys can see, it's closed on the one side. So you can direct the flow and you just pop that in. So it'll be in your tank. So I'm gonna be running uh, a couple like this. 
in the back between my stuff between my stones and then I can direct the flow around the islands so let's go ahead right now I'm gonna do uh, put these all together and one other thing that's cool too so when you got your new tank you got your new fish they're not used to these pumps so what you can do is you can it comes with this little uh, this little netting you can slide right over top of it so you like the, like the acclimation process for your fish so no little uh, gobies and enemies can get caught in there so you can keep that in there for a few weeks until your fish get used to it and then you can just pull it off and you're good to go so it's awesome you've got all these different uh, components you can work with so let's go ahead let's start putting these together assembling all uh, four of these uh, stream threes all right so let's do this probably uh, do one up and then we'll do a bunch of do some time lapse or something so in my tank there's going to be the four right you remember if you see my rock work i'm going to put two on the ends and two between two islands and i'm going to end up using this directional flow right here so i want to make sure the direction goes between the islands and out so we'll do two of them like that and then the other two that are going to go on both sides i end up i'm going to put uh directional as well but it's going to be more at off the side of the island to go around the front so the water will be brought from the back through the islands through the front the two sides will go around through the islands so that's the plan so let's get these ones assembled so the first two for the back so let's go ahead we're going to put all our little uh, blue insulators install these on the back so it's pretty easy all you're going to do is just shove them through until they clip in very well so there's one and we got the power supply we we'll go to do it plug it in what's cool about this is you can screw this on the inside of your cabinet with two small screws and then if you don't want to do that you can come with a two-sided uh, tape and just stick it on it's very strong very easy to deal with and then you just slide that in like that boom and then you can use all your dials plus the other thing is too if you want them all to work again you can get an extra cable and you can plug each one into each controller and then they can all uh, talk to each other as well so that's pretty cool so there's one down so the next one's here i'm just going to time lapse them all together we'll get all four ready to go farmhand so we got all four of them all uh, assembled and ready to go for in the tank I think this is a pretty cool system they got a lot of great new technology in here very well built I like the way we can uh, do the directional flow all the different heads I like that's got the five meter uh, cord on there it's definitely needed for the larger tanks and uh, these are each rated up to like 135 gallons a piece so we're gonna have lots of flow and can't wait and plus with all these controllers you can have all different kinds of pulsing settings you know like with the sps like lots of flow it's gonna be awesome pretty excited and uh you know tonsy keeps uh, pushing the limits on the new net technology so that's what it's all about especially with all these uh dc pumps and stuff like that very uh low uh, power consumption is what's wicked and remember like tonsy you know they had their pioneers of uh, this hobby so they sure know what's going on with the new technologies and keeping with the times 
So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this unboxing video. I'll give you guys my opinion on them, how well they're working after a few months, uh, how they're uh, withstanding all the flow, you know, all the different uh, temperature, the heat, everything, all the wear and tear on them. And uh, it's exciting to try. I always like trying all these new products and definitely letting you guys know uh, how well they are and uh, how well built. And that's what it's all about. This next, um, we're gonna have to get these uh, into the 700, get them all positioned. And uh, can't wait to show you guys the progress that's been going on on the tank. So thanks for tuning in this week, guys. Really appreciate it. So please subscribe and hit the like button.